Oh, so far I've shown you an app uh, which is has a cloud variable called post by user. Um, and every user in, on their device, they can see all the posts from, from everyone. Um, essentially, when the, you know, when the user enters something in, in the input box, this button dot click or the post it button gets clicked and we insert the new item into our cloud variable. Okay, one thing we're not doing is adding a timestamp to, um, to our notes, right? Like we, we add one manually where the user actually entered the a timestamp, but we can do that automatically. So every, every post should, should show the, you know, some kind of time timestamp. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me move these guys over just a, a little bit. Um, really all I need to do is change what I insert here right now. I'm just inserting into my list, whatever the users typed in the input box. Okay, but I can actually make it more complex and use this join block. Okay, and join is like concatenating text together, you know, building a, a longer string of text. And that's what we want. There's these default hello world. We're not going to use that. Um, but I am going to grab this guy and I want to stick that whole join in here. And um, what I'm going to do is I want to put the regular text. And then well, after that, I'm going to put some kind of date. So I'll put, um, I'll just put a comma and then I'm going to put the date after, after that. Okay. Now this join block has got this blue icon and you can click it to add more slots. You know, by default there's two, but I can just click this and I'm actually going to want, I think a number of slots. So I'll add some more as I need them, but let's just do that. And what we want to do is add time information. And it's a little weird, but you go over to this uh, folder called device and you can get data on the current hour, minute. There's also a month, you know, all kinds of stuff. And so if we want to grab, I'm just going to grab this current hour. And um, what I want to do is put the month first. So I'm going to put current month and then I'm going to put another text of just uh that okay and then i'm going to copy this guy and oops i'm going to put the current day and what i want is the day of the month all right i'm definitely going to need some more slots so i'm going to grab a few more here all right so right now i'm saying after whatever the text is that they've entered comma the month slash day of the month and then I need another one of these guys put that in there and then I'm going to copy this guy so I've got month day and now let's do the year okay and then finally I'm going to put a space and then after that I want to put the the time so let's um, let's grab this guy again, and right now I want to say the hour. Okay, and I need some more slots, so let's go ahead and add a few more, and we can go off screen, so it gets a little hard to do. But let's go grab another item, hour, minute, and then PM. I think I need three more. Okay, it's a little laborious, but I'll, I'll show you how to clean it up a little bit. Um, so hour, and then we need basically colon. Okay, and then I need the minute. And I'm not going to do seconds. I'm just going to do essentially what it looks like over here with, with minute and um, for now, let's just do, uh, I'll just put PM uh, in here. I'll, I'll, it's gonna get a little more complicated, but I, wanna, I don't like to do too much code before I test. Um, so I'm gonna go grab just, for now, we'll, we'll just fake it on, on the PM and, and AM. And really, I'm gonna have to look at the hour, and I'll show you that in a second. <coughs> um, but let's see what happens right now. So I think right now, 
when someone submits something, it should give me a, a timestamp. And let's just let's just see what it what it does. So I'm over here on on my this tablet is projecting to the screen, and I'm just going to put a post in like um, I don't know paper towels are available. Our paper towels are here. Okay, and I'm going to hit post it. And let's see, I think it's looking pretty good. So paper towels are here, April 14th, 2020, and 1641. So it's doing military time with the hour. And of course, if I would have done this in the morning, it would have still said PM because I put this fixed, fixed PM in here. Okay, but pretty nice, right? The 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 app is now kind of automatically time stamping all the entries um, and the user doesn't have to worry about saying, saying that themselves. Um, just you know, real quick, in, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to put all this stuff into a function just to kind of make the code a little bit cleaner. And then I'll also show you, we'll, we'll uh, fix it so we can just do, not military time, but just regular time and we'll get the PM and AM working, working correctly.